Yo, girl, you want Netflix and chill? You're sorry. So tell them what you did today. I broke someone's hand. He was so mad at him, he broke it. No, I actually, I went to like the, uh, a cookout with him like three weeks ago. He liked him so much, he broke it. He went to the hospital. The tofu scrambles, as you can see, I used about a third of it. Um, smells really good. It looks like eggs, which is crazy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to chow down. There's lots of veggies and mushrooms and, you know, onions and stuff. So this is breakfast. Well, I tried to sneak out of the house this morning to get Hank some breakfast, but Hank figured it out and got up and he opened the door as soon as I was out of the driveway and he came with me. I'm a king. So I let him pick out what he wanted for breakfast and I got it for him. So we went to a little flea market this morning. Not very big, like maybe five stands at the max. Something like that. And then he picked Burger King, but we also went to Goodwill this morning and he bought himself a mallet. A hammer. A king's hammer, huh? My hammer. Mm, mm, mm. Hey everybody, I destroyed someone's hand. Not only did he break it, he has to go into surgery. And get like a plate in there. And get a plate put in his hand. That's how messed up Hank did. So, I think we're gonna go out and definitely get him like a goodwill card, goodwill, a get well card, and I don't know, something nicely gestured because it was an accident, yes, but he's out for six weeks and he hurt his hand. We're at Lexington Market, but I think it's closed even though it said it was open online and the ATMs only take quarters, so we're kind of stuck. So behind me is the land of Kush. Um, they have a bunch of vegan food. So since we were in Baltimore, I decided to try, try it all. Um, so I got a cake, I got a chicken, and I got mac and cheese. So we're gonna see how their mac and cheese is and their chicken, and then pineapple upside down. So that's my lunch today. It was really expensive, but it's okay. It's vegan food and I'm excited because I got some stuff for the uh, vegan soul fest on the 19th that me and Hank are going and they're the ones sponsoring it um, but yeah we're by I think like a doctor's office now or something we parked our car and we have an hour on the meter but I guess I guess I can sit there he didn't want to eat inside yelling at me but I'm excited so one of the first things I got was this chicken that's vegan and a curry sauce so it came with mushrooms and peppers and onions and carrots and this is the chicken so I'm gonna try a piece and I guess it's soy based Wow not in a million years you'd think this was a chicken. Hey, do you want a bite? Come on. It tastes just like chicken. No! It's oh. against my religion. It's so good. Okay. I also got, got mac and cheese. So each, so each small is about $5. Which, it's not horrible. But it's not the best. So this is a mac and cheese, and it looks like breaded. it's breaded mac and cheese. I can definitely smell the uh, B12 powder on it though. So we're gonna try this. Definitely mac and cheesy, but I can taste a nutritional yeast on it. Which isn't a horrible thing, it's still really good. And then, the last thing I got, which I'm going to save for dessert, is a pineapple upside down cake. So, 
I'll open this up so you can see. This was five dollars as well. But it's a big chunk of cake with pineapple. There's glaze on it. So I'm super excited to try that because I've never tried any vegan cakes yet. And then I got the pamphlet that I want to show you guys for the Vegan Soul Fest. So this is what I'm going to on the 19th. So if you live around the area and you want to see me, come to this. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to chow down and Hank's going to drive towards a Trader Joe's and I'm going to stock up on some Trader Joe's stuff. But I'm going to eat this chicken along the way because I'm pretty hungry and I'm ready to eat. So, um, I don't know what we're doing now, I'm not sure. But I'm going to try some of this cake. Upside down pineapple cake. Or is it upside down? Or is it right side up? Oh my. It's horrible. It tastes like poop. Mm -hmm. It is good. So, I give the chicken a 10 out of 10. Delicious. The mac and cheese, I'm going to say a 6. I'm not a huge fan of nutritional yeast but in moderation and that mac and cheese is pretty much made out of nutritional yeast and oil so not my cup of tea not our tea of cup but this this is really good they have some other ones like pumpkin they have sweet potato pie which is easy to make i can make that and then something else oh cheesecake which i don't like cheesecake so not for me but they're gonna be at the Soul Fest, so I might get another one of these just to bring home at the Soul Fest. But this is good. <laughs> it's like crispy, sugary, dense. Cinnamon bread. Cinnamon. Yeah. Pretty good. So this is from. Marin's treats. Oh. So they subbed it out. Yeah. So this isn't from them. I read the ingredients though. Non dairy something. Yeah. Non dairy butter. I can show you what we got from um, Trader, Trader Joe's. Rose. So we went to Trader Joe's. Right. And uh, I think everything we got other than these two brothes broth bases um so i got some vegetable broth so fall is coming up and i'm definitely gonna make a lot of soups and stuff and um i want to try cooking rice and a vegetable broth to give it more flavor i'll have to get butter tonight or i'll be mad tomorrow for breakfast um and they sell it by the grocery store next to my house i think um I got a new thing that they didn't have last time. Chickenless mandarin orange morsels. So Hank, a couple days ago, had uh, man, what are those called? Orange chicken. Orange chicken. So now I got orange chicken. So I got two of these, because these are super easy to cook after um, work. And then my favorite chicken nuggets from Trader Joe's are the chickenless crispy tenders. They taste just just like chicken and then i got made with coconut strawberry trader joe's ice cream and the other one which i don't see in here oh down here the soy um cherry chocolate which is my favorite ice cream of all time for vegan ice cream and it's gonna be baby pigs if we pet the baby pigs that would be a very good dessert just eat their ear I nibbled on her ear and said, you're such a good baby. So at Wagman's, I got another thing of cotton candy grapes. And then I got my favorite um, Dr. McDougal's um, rice things. So this one's Pad Thai. This one's Tortilla Soup. This one is another Pad Thai, I think. Yeah, another Pad Thai. Then I got some Earth Balance butter, soy free. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator right now. And then I got some sweet bread butter pickles, which I'm excited, excited about. I got more of this butter spread because I like it on popcorn. And chopsticks. 
So we cleaned this with the Alpha Hank, so it looks gorgeous. So it's all cleaned up. I don't have to worry about it now. And I mopped the floors and did the kitchen. We did the bathroom. So we're going to try the three teas out that um, I bought earlier. So up, oh, it's actually getting ready to go. So we got the mints we're going to try, the green tea mint, the pearls jasmine mint, and the hibiscus, which I think will be my favorite. So that's ready. So I got to take it off the kettle. So I got the hibiscus tea in my Adagio tea, little Keurig thing, I don't know what to call it. And then I got the two, the green tea, this is with the mint and the Tivana one. And then I got the last one is the jasmine pearls um, that are super fancy. This was the most expensive, but I just got the tiniest bit as you can see. But I'm going to wait till these done because I want to drink this one actually hot because I feel like this would be better hot. Alright guys. so. I got the last tea. This is the one that's like little pearls, which is so cool. So I finished all three teas. So they're all done. So I'll tell you each one of them. All right, you can say let's just try some tea. So this one here is the pearl one, the jasmine pearl. Uh -huh. This is the hibiscus, and this is the green mint. Let me try that one. It's green mint too. This is minty. Oh wow. This is minty. I really like that one. So very minty. This is the hibiscus. Now I didn't add a lot of sugar. It's the bitter version of the passion fruit basically. It's good, but I like the mint one more. And then this is a super expensive one. No. Nope. Not good. Not as good as this one. No. The mint's my favorite. Yep. Then the hibiscus. But I think if I add a little more sweetener to the hibiscus, it would taste about the same as the other one. But this one I don't like, and I'm glad I didn't get a lot of it. Because I'm like, I don't know if I'd like that one. Do we have a question of the day today? What's your favorite tea? Yeah, that's a good one. What is your favorite tea, preferably loose leaf tea? So comment below. And I think I really like Wagman's tea. Um, it's cheaper than Adagio, free shipping because I pick it up myself. And the flavors are definitely very vibrant, which is nice. Have a good day. Hope you had a good day. And bye guys.